So my name is Arvid Jankvist and I'm a Moonsmart Focus Ambassador and been using it for the past three years. Uh, my name is Matthias Farnebo and I'm the CEO of Moonlighting Industries and our founder Miko Lasic could not make it due to surgery but he'll be flying in anytime if you want him here. He'll be right there. And I'm Michel Carroso Teixeira and I'm head of sales and marketing for Moonlighting Industries. I'm very excited about it. All right. Okay, cool. We're recording. Okay, hi. So I'm Matthias from Moon Smart Focus. Uh, we have this nice product from Sweden, designed in Sweden. And it's uh, actually tracking eyeballs of all the actors in the scene. So you'll be able to capture more sharp footage per day. And you can also free up more time for acting and the creative storytelling. So how is that possible? Well, we have an AI-powered sensor here. It's a stereoscopic uh, sensor who tracks all of the actors. And we have the brain up here who will actually find out the exact distance to the eyes. So uh, you'll be able to get an assistance when you pull focus or uh, you want to be sure to get the footage sharp. Okay, so let me show you. The, uh, these are the moon eyes and they are used to do, create a 3D map of the entire scene. And this will be analyzed by the brain. And uh, this system has been used for three years now, uh, going through uh, extensive development. Uh, so we're, uh, the brain will be smaller and the software much more accurate and user-friendly. And we'll show you in a second how the user interface. Basically, you'll get distance labels to each of the actors in a small uh, mobile device. So you'll have a distance label on the chest of each actor. And so you can track actors, you can track uh, objects, or you can also use it as a traditional rangefinder, uh, which meaning you decide uh, a square and uh, it will give you the ex distance to the nearest point. So the background is our founder is the director, his name is Miko Lasic, and he did a couple of feature films in Scandinavia, uh, and he, f he f struggled uh, in a f one project to get the f footage sharp. It can sometimes be hard to get hold of top ACs, and it can be very challenging uh, if you want to go wide open on the current state of technology with huge sensors and uh, beautiful optics. So it's getting harder and harder, and time pressure is getting even harder. But with this distance readout, you can uh, reduce the risk. You can easily glance on the Moon Smart Focus and know exactly where the camera is and where the actors are. Uh, How accurate is it? Uh, well, it's, uh, you can wi go wide open uh, up uh, <laughs> with any lens, basically up to 10 meters, uh, especially up to 100 mil uh, lenses, I would say. And from beyond there, you need to fine tune it to get the accuracy uh, that is sufficient uh, above 30 feet or 10 meters. So that's all up to the uh, user. It's super simple. You need to add the eyes in parallel with the barrel of the lens. You need to set the offset to the film plane. So, uh, you will have an iPhone attached to your hand controller. And last but least, you have the uh, brain, which connects to 20 volt DTAP or 24 volt uh, ser serial. Uh, you have a serial cable to your motor controller. That's basically it. How far can the operator be away? Uh, well, uh, the environment can be crazy with Wi-Fi nowadays. Right. So uh, we recommend up to five meters and stand clo as close as possible. Uh, however, we have introduced the potato mode, which is super low res, so you can still get it. Yeah, you actually do not need high resolution for them. Uh, they can still see the uh, data. Yeah, all you need is who is who is where, and then you get uh, accurate distance labels to the people. Is there anything so, else so, we should know? Yeah, I'd like to introduce you to Arvid Jernquist, who has been using the system as a first AC for three years. He's working with the top tier filmmakers in Scandinavia.
and recently been working with Lars von Trier for the Kingdom and uh, uh, Thomas von Winterberg at, on the new feature families like ours. So, did you watch, did you watch the troll? Uh, sorry? Did you watch the troll? No, not yet, not yet. Just to read you, right? Yeah. So, will I... Did you jump in? Was it okay in the Jag sa att du har jobbat med Finteberg och Lars von Trier. Okej. Du gjorde en bra jobb. Jag borde ha rekordat dig när du gör det. Ja, det är ofta bättre. Du pratar med oss. Gå ahead. Jag trodde att det var bra. Och det jag gör är att jag är din prop. Ja. Och du pratar med mig. Ju fler frågor du kan ställa mig, desto bättre. Jag vet. Men jag har en sån här prep. Ja, ja, du gjorde det. Den här är hängande där. Yeah, that's 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 just to like get the display up here, just to showcase. Should we get? How do we make it? If we move it, if I change stuff here, it won't really correspond with yeah. what's going on that's on that. Sort of, sure. Yeah. So right now I'm out of focus. Yeah. So right now you're out of focus, but I can use the Moon Smart Focus to determine at your distance. So you're at five nine right now, and I can use that information to to get you in focus, basically. Basically, I like all the stuff you were saying to the guy that was here. Okay, so... Go ahead, tell me, tell me pitch to me. Okay, so this is the Moon Smart Focus. The Moon Smart is basically two components. You have the set of eyes, and then you have the brain. The eyes uh, is a stereoscopic camera, which creates a 3D mapping landscape, basically, which the brain can then utilize to, uh, to extract uh, distance data and also identifying what's a person and what's not a person. So. The AI works primarily off the anatomy of the human being. So I can show you right here. Mm. How it creates the skeleton, because the human body is built in a very unique way. So the AI understands this and it can separate what a human from a non-human. This would also work with mannequins and if you have a photo of someone, they will also recognize it. Even sharp shadows will, will catch on the wall. Uh, it is stereoscopic camera, so the measurement is accurate through through uh, mirrors and through windows and stuff like that. And by being green, that's the primary, right? Yeah. So the Moon Smart Focus is mainly built to be the f focus puller's uh, best friend, uh, assistant. If you want to change it to me be the focus, go ahead and do that. Yeah. So right now I'm yellow, right? Yeah. So right now we're in nearest person mode, and that means the person nearest to the camera, that information marked in green that will be sent to your hand unit as a, to the readout display, as your normal rangefinder would do. The difference here is that your traditional rangefinder just gives you a point. With the Moon Smart Focus, you're actually in control what information you're being fed to the hand unit. So you can keep like this display in your monitor or with, an, with some sort of... Uh, less is more, right? Yeah, less is more. So all you care about is 3.7. Yeah, basically. Uh, basically. But, so, so 3.6 now is being fed to my hand unit, uh, so I can use this from here. But I can also collect the data if I'm supposed to pull focus to you, then that you're at 4.10. So, so by using the Moon Smart Focus, I don't have to bring out my, say, that's 5, five 4.10, perfect. I don't have to bring out my tape measure. And the focus is trying to be on my eyes. Yeah, so... How about with glasses? Yeah, then it will place it on the glasses. Okay. Yeah, uh, it will still try to understand, but it will recognize that it's a surface there. And that won't really affect you if you have yeah, if, F4, if you have clear glasses, it will go through, but your glasses are a bit shaded, yeah, so yeah. I'm not quite sure if it catches the glasses or the eyes. But you can see when you're doing it. Yeah, I can see when I do it. And usually when the glasses are shaded, like you don't want to pull beyond that anyway. No, so. You might as well have the glasses be short. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so... So the moon basically allows you to extract... Have you heard of collecting a hat? Is it possible to collect a hat? <laughs> yes. we're doing an yeah, we're doing an interview. No worries, no worries. So the moon smart focus basically gives you an abundance of information. Uh, and it can at first be a bit overwhelming. So they have developed some smart system to throttle the system back. So first we got this tracking depth scale here. So I can push that up. So it's now at beyond 30 feet. So now any, any human in the background that it can identify, we're probably covering too much. So you basically will be. Set, set the working distance. And yeah. People beyond it or in front of it. Yes. Affect, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so we call this our, our uh, death scale or like set factor. Yeah. So you can set these parameters. Let's, we can put it to 15 feet and let's say five feet. 
So now nothing inside of five feet or beyond uh, 15 feet will be tracked. So it gives you a lot more accuracy without having to have any like uh, Yeah, so if I'm, if I'm working on a big scene with a big background and lots of foreground, I can use this to narrow down what information is being fed and the system won't like spend time trying to figure out the background people. So this can do metric and uh, ink, what do call it, English stuff? Yeah, so it's both metric and imperial. It's it's your choice. It's just a UI setting to switch yep, it around. Yep. Uh, furthermore, we also got this tracking box here. Oh. Uh, so by this box, you can. You can you, you're narrowing what's important. Yeah, you can still like like so. If the depth slider is your Z, this is your X and Y. That's kick butt. Yeah, so you can create this box and then you can occlude people based on that. So it's also super helpful if you have people on the sides and you just want the talent in the middle. Um, See here. So, are you helping these guys like be an end user and giving them like, how can I be faster? Yeah. So they approached me three years ago and asked me to try their system. Uh, they were mainly talking about autofocus then, uh, and I told them that your autofocus is not that good. <laughs> uh, it, it has gotten better, yeah, yeah. but I also told them that the the rangefinder application it's like Huge. it's nothing like I've seen before, uh, and they sort of started shifting towards being like the focus puller's friend, and they realized like. If we develop this as a rangefinder, once the technology gets better, we can start implementing the autofocus in a more efficient way. Yeah, the, the bread and butter was the rangefinder. Yeah. That got you in the door. Yeah, definitely. And as you, as they got better with the focus, then you will soon be almost reliable on that. It's, yeah. So. It's still. You said it's really good. Yeah. It's just not as quick as you, but it's still pretty smooth. Yeah. So if you wanna, if you wanna apply the autofocus, uh, it comes down to the to what hand unit you are using. So right now we have set up with the Ori High 5. So the Ori High 5 has what they call uh, focus tracking. So focus tracking basically matches your range data, so that would be marked green, yep. with the lens data, your digital scale. So if I activate that, it will just match that. So now whatever is in green, the, the moon will match. But it's not really the moon doing it, it's the Ori unit and the Ori motors. The moon is just providing the data. The data. So depending on what companies made the motors and the cabling, you may get different results. So working with Hayden, Hayden? Yeah, so Hidean, for example, has a very close collaboration with the Moon Smart Focus. So if you are interested in the autofocus application, we recommend primarily Hidean or even Tilta as of right now. Relationship and the, and the response time is much quicker, a, a good amount quicker. It's a good amount quicker. Not much, but... Yeah. But you, you notice the difference. Yeah, we notice the difference. But as as the moon grows and as other companies allow us to uh, to use their protocols more efficiently, we can bring that time for any company. But you have a good relationship with the fellow Swedish. Yeah, so right, Hidean is a Swedish company, so they were first up. 1964. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, is there anything else we should know about this? Yeah, we should also go through the point system. I'm going to turn off the focus tracking. Should I go on, the, on, the, on that screen? Yeah, if you want, you can. So this is the point system. So in point, we we basically we turn the AI off because the AI is not not now looking for any any people. But we get this box here which we can manipulate in size. Uh, this also works with the tracking depth slider. So if you want to include stuff like that, now it's working like your normal uh, traditional rangefinder using ultrasonic or laser. So the closest point inside this box that will be sent to your hand unit. So for for me, when I use commercial work. Uh, and there's a product in frame and not a person. I use this because then I can get like I can make this box big enough and I can hit the the Coke bottle or yeah. the the product we're trying to sell. So you don't have to look at other things that might. No, exactly. So so like this is the this is the simplest version of the moon, uh, and now it's working like your normal rangefinder, and this is like the capability goes beyond. How many jobs have you used this on? Countless. Or? How many jobs have I done the last three years? <laughs> So I probably do around somewhere between mm, four to five, maybe six features a year, maybe TV shows, so that brings that down. But you, it should be around like f maybe 10, 10 projects, 10 to 15 projects. Any, yeah. Any projects that uh, people can see if they look you up? Uh, so yeah, right now the most, probably the most international acclaimed is the, the third season of Lost Country is um, uh, The Kingdom, uh, Exodus. And that was actually the first, the first pr project this system was used live on, and we decided it was. I, well, I decided it's, it's kind of good project to start with because uh, Lars is who applies the dogma dogma 95 style. He likes mistakes, 
because uh, he thinks it makes it authentic and real. So I thought I might, might as well try this new system because if it fails, it's just going to look great for Lars. <laughs> uh, but it didn't fail. It was actually so good that uh, several times a week we were told that like, the focus is too, too nice, you need to f uh, make, or mess it up. <laughs> so uh, we had to start, me and the other focus pullers. Yeah. <laughs> so me and the other focus pull actually by 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 design started messing up and being slow with reactions and stuff. So that was quite exciting. I never had that before. So for you, it's pretty cool because it's a Swedish company made in Sweden. You 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 have direct access. So you can make little adjustments. Yeah. It, I mean, since it's made in Sweden, I got early access to it. But it could be made anywhere. I think it's a cool system because it saves me a lot of time on set because I don't have to use my tape measure anymore. Uh, and I got all the information straight in my hand. I can go from the, the moon, the data, straight to putting down marks. Instead of having to bring up my tape measure, running it down, coming back, converting it. So it's just a quicker, more efficient way for me to work. And all, majority of all users who have tried it experience the same thing. Uh, you go to www.moonsmartfocus.com and just drop us an email. And we'll make sure you get uh, a moon system ASAP. And if you want to rent it, you can rent it at the camera division in uh, West Hollywood. Yes. Yes, uh, it's uh, $24,000 for the whole system. If you're renting it, it's roughly 500 to 550 a day. Anything uh, else? I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm no, we're super happy. Super happy. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much for coming by.